Welcome to part two of our lecture series on lipids. Here we will learn about the basic structure and reactions of triacylglycerides, or TAGs. Triacylglycerides, TAGs, are composed of three fatty acids and a glycerol backbone. They are also known as triacylglycerol or triglycerides. The three fatty acids are usually different from one another on any single triacylglyceride, and pools of fats or oils are typically mixtures of many different tags. Tags are formed by dehydration synthesis, creating ester linkages from three fatty acids and a glycerol backbone. This is the basic reaction. The actual reaction in vivo is more complicated and involves several enzymatic steps. The reverse reaction, hydrolysis, is mediated by lipase enzymes in vivo. Different lipases will cleave tags into different products. Some will release all three fatty acids, and some, like the pancreatic lipase, will only release the outer two, and will leave the fatty acid on the two position attached as a monoacylglyceride. Tags are very nonpolar molecules that are typically mixtures. Thus, their melting points and boiling points are usually not sharp. When mixed with water and shaken, they will tend to emulsify. Pure fats and oils are colorless and odorless. Color and odor is always a result of contaminants. For example, bacteria found in butter give flavor and carotene gives color. To emulsify is to force two immiscible liquids to combine in a suspension. Substances like oil and water, which cannot dissolve in each other to form a uniform homogeneous solution. Although oil and water can't mix, we can break oil down into teeny tiny droplets that can remain suspended in the water. Thus, the definition of an emulsion is a mixture of two or more liquids that are normally immiscible. Tags are often referred to as fats and oils. Fats tend to be more highly saturated than oils and thus have higher melting temperatures. They are typically solids at room temperature. Oils, on the other hand, have lower melting temperatures and are typically liquids at room temperature. Here are some examples of common oils. This diagram gives you a sense of the mixtures of fatty acids found in different tag sources. Note that coconut oil has a high degree of saturated fatty acids incorporated into the tag structure. This increases the melting temperature of this oil, causing it to be a solid at room temperature. Oils can be non-drying, semi-drying, or drying. A non-drying oil is an oil which does not harden when it's exposed to air. This is opposed to a drying oil, which hardens through polymerization completely, or a semi-drying oil, which partially hardens. These properties are dependent on the degree of saturation. Typically, more highly saturated oils are non-drying in nature. The oil hardens through a chemical reaction in which the components cross-link and hence polymerize by the action of oxygen. This diagram shows a simplified chemical reaction associated with cobalt-catalyzed drying processes. In the first step, the diene undergoes auto-oxidation to give you a hydroperoxide. In the second step, the hydroperoxide combines with another unsaturated side chain to generate a crosslink. To generate a crosslink, this polymerization results in stable films that, while somewhat elastic, do not flow or deform readily. Drying oils are a key component of oil paint and some varnishes. Some commonly used drying oils include linseed oil, tongue oil, poppy seed oil, perilla oil, and walnut oil. Hydrogenation reactions involve the addition of hydrogen across a double bond. 
effectively reducing or saturating the carbons at this position. Hydrogenation of tags leads to either saturated or partially saturated fats mixed with trans fatty acid byproducts. The purpose of hydrogenation is to make the oil or fat more stable to oxygen and temperature variation. This increases shelf life and to create a spreadable solid or semi-solid. Examples of hydrogenated fats include Crisco and margarine. Usually a metal catalyst such as nickel or palladium are required for the hydrogenation process. Steps in the hydrogenation of a carbon-carbon double bond involve the following steps. First, the reactants are adsorbed onto the catalyst surface and hydrogen dissociates. A hydrogen atom bonds to one carbon atom. The other carbon atom is still attached to the surface. A second carbon atom bonds to the hydrogen atom and the molecule is free to leave the surface. Hydrolysis of tags with a strong base will split the tag into glycerol and the salts of the fatty acids. The salts of the fatty acids are soaps. Thus, this process is called saponification. Saponification using potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide gives softer soaps. Overall, triacylglycerides or TAGs are the body's main energy source and it is stored in fat tissue called adipose tissue. In the following lectures, we will see how these molecules are transported, stored, and utilized as energy resources in the Krebs cycle.